as you know, when we first got into the virtual learning last March, it was flipping a switch and it was a very crude um, implementation of online learning. And, and our teachers had to overnight uh, learn how to teach online. And that is not an easy task. Uh, over the summer months, uh, like I alluded to earlier, there was a lot of professional development. Uh, we've increased our, improved our learning management platform. Of course, the teachers are learning that system as they're using it. Um, and, and we've uh, gained a lot of insight into what works and what doesn't work. Moving forward, we have a committee right now at our high school, West Bloomfield High School, and it's, it's really a return to learn for the high school once our area gets in the, a phase where it's safe to bring students back. And, and that committee, they're looking at everything uh, about high school. Um, what can we use when we reopen that is working now? Uh, what can we maybe not go back to? And I'm going to say, uh, let's take a look at the start time. Historically, our high school started at 7.03 a.m. Uh, every morning. With the online version, it doesn't start till 8.30, 9 o'clock. The feedback that we get from students is that they love sleeping in. Uh, their, their biological clocks are geared to not 7 a.m. being in a seat in the classroom, but just maybe waking up. And, and so we're going to be looking at our start times. Uh, also, teachers are, are also looking at what they're doing instructionally. Uh, give a lec giving a lecture face to face is one thing, but you can have a combination, a blended learning plan, where you are presenting material online and then having more lab and class discussion activities, project activities in the face to face mode. And so I, I would see uh, continuing that in some form or fashion. And, and then there is a whole issue of of assessment. Uh, how do you how to assess? One of the things that I'm hoping to come out of this at the state level is that we get away from the high stakes testing and trust the teachers in the school districts in our state to assess students' learning as opposed to uh, giving MSTEP or um, some other tests. Uh, just what is important for, for learning and what can we do to increase student achievement uh, as opposed to filling in bubbles on a piece of paper.